Hello everyone, welcome to Walks with Moss. It is a rainy day, but that's okay. That means it's perfect weather to go check out a local waterfall. We are parked on Summit Lake Road. You can hear the noise from the freeway nearby. And today we are going to check out Kennedy Creek Falls. It's been raining for two days in a row, so the falls should be looking great. So come along with us and let's see what the waterfalls look like in the rain. There's a couple different ways to hike into this waterfall. One starts off of Highway 101, and this one here is near Summit Lake Road. This route is shorter, but it's not the prettiest route. We're mostly just walking down logging roads today. At the very end, there is a little trail though. We're going to go about seven miles today, and I'm tired, allergies are kicking my butt. But I'll try to keep this as high energy as possible. We're marching up a hill right now. Some kind of critter, I think a woodpecker has made holes in the bark and the wood of this cedar tree. There's a barrier put up here to help keep dirt from the road out of the stream. Presumably this is a salmon stream. So now we're coming up to the road that you would come in on if you started this hike from Highway 101. But we started from Highway 8 today, so we're coming down this way and we're going to turn right. Or if you came in from Highway 101, you would have come up from that direction. In spite of my hard drive crashing, I was able to get all of my old track logs off of it. So I have a good route to the waterfall today. Here's some really nice politricum moss. This moss is really fun to look at in cross-section. Here's a beautiful clump of Usnea lichen, just kind of glistening in the rain. Please don't use any of my vlog posts as a map to get anywhere. Just don't. I get confused. Don't take my advice for how to get anywhere. Anyway, we've made it to Kennedy Creek. Yay! So now we're going to find the little trail that parallels Kennedy Creek and follow that for about a mile until we get to the waterfall. That's not the waterfall we're headed for, but it is pretty. Okay, I found our route to the waterfall. It looks like last time I came up here, I walked back out on a logging road. So I've got two different routes here. But this route is actually marked. Yay. Marked with some tape and some flagging and pretty decent pair of running shoes. Let's see what size those are. Oh, they've got moss on them. I guess they won't be that good. Still, what size are these? US 10? Oh my gosh, that's my size. Spring has definitely arrived.
I don't see any recent footprints on this trail. That tells me no one's been here in a while. And we will probably have the waterfalls all to ourselves today, which is great. And there is no avoiding some of this muck. There's lots of trilliums in bloom right now. This section of the trail is just lined with them. The common name for them is Easter lily, and it fits. They bloom at Easter time. Can you hear the waterfall in the distance? We're getting close. Here we are, Kennedy Falls, we've made it. Unfortunately, it's not very easy to see the falls from the trail. They are bigger than normal, that's for sure. I have some drone footage I took down here on a sunny day, and if I can find it, I'll include it in the video right here. are really impressive today. I wish there was a way to get down there and see the main falls, but there just isn't. Not from this side anyway. I'll probably sit down right here and have my lunch. It's the best part of the day, lunchtime. I'm going to sit right here in front of this beautiful waterfall and have some coffee and some noodles. Time for a cuppa! Cheers! It's time to eat! So I'm just gonna sit here next to this gorgeous waterfall and have some lunch. I've got Bella tied up. I don't trust her not to fall in the river here. She's not real happy, but it's better than having her fall in the river and die. For lunch, I'm having my usual noodles with uh, dehydrated bell peppers and dehydrated smoked razor clam and some homemade tomatillo sauce, which I've rehydrated.
lunch is over. Time to climb back up this trail. She did not enjoy being leashed up all throughout lunch. I might take a slight detour on the way back to the car. I figured out a loop route I could take that might take me past some more wetlands that could be pretty. We've come back out onto the logging road from the trail, and the trail is well marked by a pair of size 10 shoes right there. So now back the way we came, but I might take a little detour, do a little bit of extra exploring. Well, I want to take this extra loop route but according to this map, it's a long route going all the way around two hills in this way. But according to this map, it's a much shorter route that comes up in a different spot. So I think we'll trust the GPS map for now, and if we don't find that intersection, then we will think this map is correct, and we will turn around and go back, because that's more of a loop than I want to make. Good news, the road on this map does indeed exist. I don't know if it goes all the way through, but it exists. So that's a start. So here we go. Up this road that only exists on one of my maps. Well, it's marked. I think that's a good sign that it goes through. Here's a fork in the road. The lower fork definitely looks like it ends very shortly. The upper fork maybe goes a little bit farther. I don't know. This isn't looking very hopeful, but I'm here now. It turns out the lower road is actually the one we wanted. So let's go take a look at that. I think that one's more likely to be decommissioned because it runs alongside some creeks and stuff. Bella is for sure going to pick up some ticks here. These grassy roads are the worst for ticks. So back down to this junction and this time we're going to take the road that goes downhill. Fingers crossed this doesn't just abruptly end. It sure looks like it is going to end pretty shortly. The worst case scenario will be that after I walk all the way down to the bottom of this hill, this road is going to end, and then I have to walk back up the hill. It's not looking good. This road is getting more and more overgrown. We are getting so close to where the road I'm on connects with the road I want to get to, if the road goes through. And that's a big if at this point. The road has ended. So, is there a trail here? Often in these kind of woods, when the road ends, it's not the end because there will be a trail where the road was or something like that. So we can try a little brush crashing through here to see if this will go where I need to go. Or we can just turn around and go back the way we came. I'll try a little brush crashing. It's getting pretty gnarly. We may be done here. Done as in we have to go all the way back the way we came. But I knew that was a possibility when I came down here, so... 
where I want to be is just on the other side of that wetland. And it looks like the road used to run right next to this wetland, but then got decommissioned. But usually, at the end of the road, there'll be a trail where the road used to go. But it's not looking very good here. It's, it's looking really gnarly. And I know it's going to skirt through a wetland, so... Sadly, I think I need to go back the way I came. If not for that wetland right there, I could go straight across to get back to where I need to be. But I'm not going to try walking across a wetland when it's been raining like this. So, back the way we came. So, it was the worst case scenario. We get to the very bottom of the hill and the road ends and we get to walk back up the hill back up to the top of the hill that i hiked down for no reason and now i get to hike down a hill that i hiked up for no reason and then i get to walk right back up this hill again but on a different road oh well these things happen and we got to do some exploring today anyway Look at this lovely lichen, right here. Yes, I said lichen. That's a lichen. It's a basidio lichen. The green here is the lichen's body, and the thing that looks like a mushroom is the fruit of the lichen. This is called a basidio lichen, and they're not that common. Most lichens are asco lichens. Back to where we need to be, and I am wiped out. I am definitely going to be needing another cup of coffee. So there's my water. I'm feeling pretty wiped out, so I'm going to take a break here on this rock. Pretty cool rock, it happens to have a little shell. I'm really close to the end of my hike, but I'm not having fun, and I know I'll feel so much better if I take a break. Even though it will take me longer to hike out, I'll feel better on my hike out. Plus, I get to sit on this cool rock for a while. Cheers. If you enjoy this sort of thing, please hit like and subscribe. If you've made it this far through the video, you must have enjoyed it a little bit. So do me a favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment, and... I'll see you next time. Bye for now.